which abrasive grain can represent the ultimate performance and stronger cutting ability, higher grinding efficiency and longer lifetime. Most people today will say, Ceramic Abrasive Grain. In the past 40 years, Ceramic Abrasive Grain has been the highest performing grain with the newest technology, and its characteristics of self-sharpening ability has drove the performance of conventional abrasive products to their highest levels. Why Ceramic Abrasive Grain is so special? We will show you through this video, but first, let's reflect on the history of abrasive grains. The use of abrasives goes back almost since the beginning of recorded history. During the earliest period in ancient Egypt, craftsmen began to use stones to polish jewelry and vases. A 13th century document describes ancient Chinese use of natural gums to fix seashell to parchment, which is considered the earliest form of sandpaper. Ancient Greeks extracted quartz from sandstone to grind wood and metal. Most of the early abrasive materials were natural, they occurred in natural deposits and can be mined and processed for use with little alteration. It was until 19th and 20th centuries, the Industrial Revolution spurred the modern advancement in abrasive materials. In 1891, synthesized silicon carbide was first invented in an electronic furnace by American chemist Edward Goodrich Acheson, with its properties such as hardness was enhanced. Following the development of silicon carbide, synthetically manufactured fused alumina was invented. For decades, the electrofusion process was utilized to fulfill the world's needs for abrasive grains. In 1954, the first synthetic diamonds were made in General Electric's laboratories, and that revolutionized the industry and set a milestone of super abrasive. Super abrasive had superior hardness and again greatly elevated grinding performance, the question is that it has extremely hard cost, which made them not widely used. The next step in material advancement came in 1971, Norton Company introduced a fused abrasive grain produced by fast cooling a molten mix of aluminum oxide and zirconium oxide, which is zirconia alumina. The extremely rapid solidification processing of zirconia alumina made this abrasive grain have a microstructure, which had significantly higher performance than the traditional, fused, large crystal aluminum oxides. This new grain demonstrated the importance that microstructure plays in the performance of an abrasive material. Researchers recognize that if controlling the microstructure of abrasive grains could lead to such large performance increases, there could a competitive advantage in developing new abrasive grains having microstructures engineered for abrasive performance. The breakthrough in the history of abrasive development was in 1981 when 3M researchers developed a technology for the production of abrasives grains using the Sol Gel method, which is called Cubitron. And this is the first commercial ceramic abrasive grain. By that time, the first generation of ceramic abrasive grain had outperformed the typical fused alumina in many applications. The birth of ceramic abrasive grain resulted from the continuous pursuit of sharpness, hardness and grinding performance for abrasive grains. In the next video, we will introduce why this material is so special and what development occurred in ceramic abrasive grains. To know more about ceramic abrasive grain, you can subscribe JCT Abrasives YouTube channel. See you in the next video.